So in this segment, we're going to talk about Amazon. Like That's I said, my favorite, one of my favorite topics. Yeah, at least once a month, we got to bring up <laughs> Amazon and Jeff Bezos. They're taking over. Yeah. So yeah. their latest, their latest thing that they've done is the Amazon Go store. Yeah. Um, Amazon Go Grocery. Yeah, in Seattle, yeah. Washington. So they have they have Amazon Go stores in like other places, I think in the UK, stuff like that. But they're more convenient stores type. Mm-hmm. This is the first full fledged grocery store. Yeah, they have fresh food in there. They got everything. They got fish, uh, produce, yep. uh, fresh groceries, yeah. milk. Vegetables. They got it all, man. You're Anything sna- that you will find in the grocery store. Yeah, it's like a it's regular supermarket. You got snacks, everything. So the, what makes this different from other grocery stores is that they don't have any cashiers. Yeah, zero. It's cashierless. So usually everybody has gone to a grocery store. You buy your groceries and you go and you get <laughs> cashed out. You wait in line. Even if you don't, even if a lot of grocery stores now don't have, they, well, they have cashiers and they have the cash. Yeah, self-checkout. Yeah, yeah self-checkout. But yeah. you still got to go. You scan the items yep. and then it's like a self-checkout thing. But this is different. So what happens is that you walk into the store, you have to get the Amazon Go app. Yep. And you scan the app in order to have entry to the store. Yep. Then, um, once you do that, it's all based off of artificial intelligence, yeah. scanners, um, video recorders, or you have a whole technology. Yeah, they got like, I, uh, I looked at the video, it's like they have like a hundred different like scanners on the ceiling. All right, so as you walk through the store, it tracks you. All right, so like people can literally just walk in, like if I wanted to get some bread, like I could literally just walk in and just put it in my bag and the scanner would Detect it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's, it's different. It's crazy. No, it's a whole vibe. And yeah, so like you take the bread off, you put it in your bag, and it's, it says, okay, $2 gets added. Now, if you change your mind, you put it back on, then it takes the $2 off. Yeah, everything is getting scanned. So, yeah, and then, um, so everything is already scanned in the app, and you just put what you want in your bag, and then you just leave. Yeah, they got a sign. It's because just walk out. Like, as yeah. you walk in the store, it's like, yo, this is like the just walk out store. So literally, you bag up your stuff, and you walk out, and when you get outside, you get your receipt. Yeah. It's crazy. And they, <laughs> so they said that this, this store I just opened in Seattle is going to be like the test run yeah. for this model moving forward. Yeah, and then, you know what was ill was like, yo, people were looking at that like, yeah, right, what happens if I like pick up an apple or something? And it was like, if if I pick up an apple, well, they, they've they changed the way that they do it now. They don't charge per the weight. They just charge per item. So every apple is 99 cent, right? Whereas sometimes you get like a watermelon, it's like, yo, depending on how much it weighs, that's how much you pay. Not everything the same price. And they've actually, it's about YouTubers because they one guy tried to um trick the system. <laughs> Already? Yeah, there's a lot of that going on. Like where he changed his jacket and he got away with some items, but they, they scanned him for an avocado that he left. And there's been some there's been some 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 chinks in the armor where like people have been able to actually, because that's the thing, it's like, yeah. People, like, if you rob them, right? You talk about just walk out, like, you walking so, out. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, but, but it's it's not as easy as you think. Yeah. I saw, You know what? Speaking of that, I actually saw um, somebody had, a, like, this glitch where they opened the freezer because there's a lot of frozen goods in there. So, they opened the freezer. And if you open the freezer at a certain angle, the scanner can't see it. So, it's, like, weird. Like, now they're actually going to put the technology on the freezers. So, like, you, you ha- it, everything gets scanned into your item. Yeah, I'm sure the that they'll be, they'll be, you know, um, making changes as they go along with yeah. it, but the the thing that the thing that's really interesting is that the next. So now a lot of labor unions are complaining, yeah. and they're saying Where, they're taking all the jobs. Yeah, they're saying taking the jobs. So I didn't even know that there was that many cashiers yeah. in America. So there's 3.5 million, million cashiers yep. in America who average around ten dollars an hour mm-hmm. pay. Yep. So now it's a thing where it's like, okay, if this is the model moving forward for grocery stores. That's three million people who are at risk of losing their job. Right? Yeah. So, like, I mean, that stat is, is crazy, right? But the illest part is that, you know, the company that hires the most people in, in the United States, Amazon. <laughs> so it's like it's it combats itself. Like, yeah, we're automating some things, but we're also creating jobs well, well, at a different rate. I think also it's just, it's a harsh reality that we live in, but. Um, people have to be able to adapt to what's going on right yep. now, right? And it's like, I remember, like, in New York, if you're from New York, you know that there's no tolls. It's tollless, <laughs> right? Exactly. Um, but those were jobs that people had where exactly. you drive and people were standing in a toll booth and they break change mm-hmm. and that was their job. They might curse you out. <laughs> that, was, that was their job, the tolls. But now it's like it's all of those jobs were lost because they realized it's a lot more efficient for, for cameras to take pictures mm-hmm. and easy pass and stuff like that that there's no need to A, it, it it actually slows up traffic, right? Yep. And then B, 
you spend in a lot of money where you put a camera in place, you don't have to pay the camera. It's already done. Yeah. So these is these are this is just more proof to me as far as the 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 wave of what now you call the future right now mm-hmm. that technology you're either on the right side of it or the wrong side of it. Yeah, and it's, it's double edged sword because if you think about it, right? Amazon, what they're doing with the gro- the go grocery store is like they're creating lower prices because they're not paying employees at the same rate. Like they have workers in the store, but they don't have twenty five. Uh, cashiers. Well, now, now if I don't have 25 cashiers, I can lower the price for milk. I can lower the price for these goods, right? So now, if I have to compete with a grocery store, they can't do that. Well, that's their scaling. I spent Amazon's model from day one is to have lower prices that the competition can't really be exactly and more efficient way of actually doing business. So this fits right in. And they just brought Whole Foods. Yeah. So the interesting thing, and those are products are in the store. <laughs> yeah, and so the interesting thing about um, Amazon is that, like, we talk about like the death of retail and is, and is uh, brick and mortar dead. And a lot of people have contributed Amazon to like speeding up that process of like killing brick and mortar businesses because everybody's shopping online. But now this is a play to build out their, their brick and mortar business. Right. So Amazon, in my opinion, they're really trying to dominate every aspect of, of your life, right? So it's like eating food is a is an essential part yeah. of life. $800 billion industry. <laughs> it's something that you, you can't get away from. Yeah, everybody has to do it. So now with the Amazon, now the, the brilliant thing about Amazon is that they already have the infrastructure in place to ship mm-hmm. items. So they have these these grocery stores in place what can also be um, holding units, storage units that they ship out groceries. Yeah. So now instead of actually going to the store, you can order the groceries and now have it delivered to you. So now they're going to get it to the point where it's like, okay, if you get food, which everybody has to have food, <laughs> you either you want the in-person experience, we have in-person, if right. not, we already have it set up. It's not actually even costing them more money yeah. because they already have these grocery. I'm just saying, hypothetically speaking, let's say this really expands and they have these grocery stores all over America and all these major markets. Now it's going to be easy to do same day shipping of groceries yeah. because the warehouses are they're already there in yeah. grocery stores. And we spoke about that too when we were, we were talking about brick and mortar. It was like, look, there's a reason why Amazon's buying up old malls, right? Those are the epicenters of cities. They have all the infrastructure there. They have plumbing already there. If nobody is going into malls and malls eventually, the stores you know, can't pay the rents and leases, they'll eventually come in by that. And now they're at the epicenter of every city. So now you have same day shipping, right? Now I have the epicenter. That becomes a warehouse. You order Amazon, same day it gets to you, right? Like, you can't get more efficient than that. No, nah, you really can't. And that's even the play. So Amazon and Walmart have been going back and forth. Yeah, they they back up yeah, competing. And Walmart's actually making an insurgence and a lot of people are saying that they're becoming a threat to Amazon. One thing that Walmart has over Amazon is that they have so many locations. Right. So now they've they've started the same day shipping and all of that. And yeah. that's what that's exactly their play is that they don't have to like Amazon is using warehouses. Mm-hmm. Where Walmart, all of this stuff is already there. They already have the infrastructure in place. Yeah. So they're saving money because they're not paying for any warehouses. Right. All of the Walmart stuff is hold, held in Walmart factories and stores and is getting shipped out from there. So I see this as something that Amazon could potentially take from Walmart yeah, instead easy. of just keep having these Amazon shipping factories where it costs a lot of money to uphold that. Yeah. It's like, okay, now you have a grocery store at the very least the money that's coming in from the grocery store probably offset the cost of the shipping, but we all know shipping is Amazon's thing. So now you you build out that and you get the money from the grocery store, but you already have the infrastructure in place to ship it out. And they got one of the most important things down pat, the experience, right? Like if you've ever shopped at Walmart, no disrespect to anybody at Walmart, but it's like it's, you waiting in line, especially if you got kids. I mean, it, it, it's a it's an ordeal, like going through Walmart with kids, and then you gotta wait in these long lines. Now it's like, yo, I can go to the store. Like, it won't be a thing for parents to say, like, oh, I'm going to the supermarket, because we don't have to wait in line. Like, I'm getting this, I'm getting this, and we're out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like that experience just changed everything for everybody. It's a game changer. And then also, also, what's even more interesting to me, at least, is like people. You always gotta look deeper than what's on the surface. Like this, we're talking about groceries, but I mean. Who's to say this isn't a scalable model for every form of retail? Like, right. You can just potentially walk into a sneaker store at some point and just take sneakers off the rack and leave. Yeah, I don't, I don't see why it can't be. I mean, obviously those companies have to invest the type of technology and have the type of capital to do it, right? Because it takes a lot to put 
200 cameras in your ceiling. How much How much does it cost to have so my, millions of employees? I'm sure they got a lot of laws, too, from people just stealing stuff out of the store. Well, they get, they get laws from people stealing with employees there. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So it's like going forward, if, like I said, this is, this is, this is a test run to see. But if this if this works out, which I actually think, you think it it's will. a test, I feel like they already know what they're gonna do. Yeah, I'm not saying test as far as if it's gonna work because you yeah, never yeah. you never know if it's gonna work or not. But I feel like if this works, which I think it probably will work, I don't see why other every area of retail won't move towards that. Yeah, moving forward, it's like it's a lot easier, even from the customer standpoint. Like I don't want to wait online to to ring up stuff at H and M or any store. Like <laughs> it would be much easier if I just walked into. Macy's or H and M or Foot Locker or whatever got what I wanted yeah. and walked out. Yeah, it changes it. So like now you get foot traffic going back into stores. I think it helps, right? Because now you got people actually going in where that's a problem right now. People don't go in. Everybody shops online. Where if we know it was that easy, yeah, we might think twice. Like, all right, well, I'm just going to grab that and I'm coming back home. It's easy. It might be the resurgence of brick and mortar, in a sense. Yeah.